you are still tuned into your daily dose of trends. It's hashtag Tsar on three. So 16 years ago, Brangelina changed our lives and theirs when they uh, made their incredibly charismatic and equally funny Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And just when we thought we couldn't get any more cinema reboots, Phoebe Walter uh, Bridge and Donald Glover are officially jumping onto a series reboot of, you guessed it, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Why? Oh. Why? Oh, I have a lot to say, but I'm hold on. So let's bring this back home, guys. So I want to ask the table, which South African show would you like to see a reboot of? Mm. Huh? It has to it has to be for me, Kwakala Nyonini. I would like to see that with a fresh cast. Think of Jessica Nkosi as a beauty, umfazwe pepper. And then maybe we get a Pelin's Ladla to be Umadlanduna. You know, I think it would it was a brilliant story. I think this is the best sitcom we've ever had in this country. Okay. Well, <laughs> I haven't watched this. Did you say have, hold my beer? Yeah, I don't have context. For I'm me out. and those of us who grew up in Sanson, our <laughs> best sitcom <laughs> was this. <laughs> Guys, who would you I just, like to see? I don't even know who I want to see in it. I mean, I will play Tando if it, if it is anything. thing. <laughs> but I really like these stories of like what's happening in South Africa, especially because this Rainbow Nation thing is kind yeah. of like idealistic not and not a thing. And my neighbor came and irritated me like two weeks ago. Oh. So I would like to do a show where uh, he's a white guy as well. So, you know, the pa patronizing, condescending, keep it down. I'll actually write a sitcom like that. Okay. okay. Well, I'm going to make it medical considering the climate that we're in. I think it would be really nice to find out like what, what really goes down in a pandemic. But I want Josie H back. Mm -hmm. oh, that was only yeah. on was for cool. one season was medical. <laughs> My grandfather that was said actually, it was, that was actually quite good. Look how young they are. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think liked we need it. that back. It reminded me of Grey's Anatomy. 100%. Boston. But better. Yeah. Yes. So actually, it was really it was good. Brilliant. Yeah. Anyway, it. guys, from reboots to a new dawn. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yesterday, New Hope came in the form of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine which arrived on South African soil. Yes, give us free. We will be the first country to administer the vaccine from the pharmaceutical company. And the vaccine has shown in human trials to be highly effective at preventing severe illness from a variant of the virus that emerged in South Africa in December. So at least we won't be only 20% effective. Mm, and this afternoon, Kylie Cha was trending because the number one citizen of South Africa, President Matamela Cyril Ramaphosa and Minister Dr. Zuelim Kiza, the Minister of Health. Actually, I wanted to get his English name. I forgot to get that. We received the vaccination at a hospital in Kailicha. Yes, you heard me. Yes, Kailicha. This is what the opinionated people of Twitter had to say about that. Usandi hmm. after RSA said, so yakala ini you are Nifuna Abantu Befile Usirin. Did I read that in proper closer? All no. right. And, <laughs> and then Manapod Dog One, I'm going to kill this one, said, Why Kailich? Is it necessary to go to Kailich? Kehori, we can't chill in the hood in peace without cameras this day. I love it. It's the yeah. dramatic pause of the And then <laughs> DJ One Day say, said, This vaccine with a vaccine thing said very confusing this one came isolep sug and mm. today is okali sevens the other one came last month but yeah color la for testing and got twice sevens and in kazel and in the niazio what's going on in kailicha all right, so I'll tell you that dose number one of the 80,000 doses was given to Uzoli Swakiti Josi. Uh, and then when it was our president's turn, uh, he said it was a quick painless jab. It's just something else to note, Justin Jay. Our Sadak brothers, Zimbabwe, will also be starting their own vaccine rollouts this week. Um, I just wonder if they'll have a showdown like ours, you know what I mean? Like we're kind of borrowing from each other. But their 200,000 vaccines doses were donated by China and uh, they've arrived in the country this past Monday. So with all these updates of the vaccination, I think they would make a great series. Mm. Imagine the trailer, receiving the vaccine, jubilation, then the president, played by Morgan Freeman, oh. gets a call from his health minister, Pabao, played by Will Smith, because you know why? We need someone handsome to actually play a hero. Mm. He drops the bomb on the president. Go. So, sir, the vaccines, because you know Americans when they do our movies, they don't get our <laughs> Sir, the vaccines, they are 20% effective to our new variant. <laughs> the president loses his tie. Is that all, Makize? No, sir. <laughs> they are expiring on the 31st of April. And then they fade to black. The South African Vaccine Chronicles, coming soon. Uh, <laughs> I know. 
You got the job. <laughs> Thank you very much. Anyway, I'm curious to know what else would take this series to a higher level? What would make this more intense? Uh... I would actually bring in load shedding. Like, just bring in rain, oh. and then we've got ESCOM telling us that, no, we don't have the electricity. So now, Maxi. Maxi. Oh, yeah, we need ESCOM. ESCOM is the, what you call a protagonist. I don't know how to build it. Antagonist, yeah. even, because they're the ones yeah. who... That thing. <laughs> That's why we brought you here. Yes. You know what? It's a hot mess up in here. The series is not a real thing.